Hi, it's Miss Sherry. I'm here to tell you another story from the Bible, and we know everything in the Bible is true. What do you do when you have good news? I know what I do. I tell lots and lots of people. Can you think of a time you had good news? Maybe you won something at school, and the moment you got home, what did you do? Did you tell your mom and dad? That's what I do. There's a word we use sometimes at church, and that word is the gospel. Have you heard that word before? Do you know what it means? It means good news. That's what it really means. But that good news is the story of Jesus, how he saved us, how he died for us and came back to life and saved us from our sins. Now, there was a man we've talked about. I bet you remember him, Paul. His name used to be Saul. Do you remember? And he walked down the road and a light appeared and Jesus appeared to him. And Paul came to know Jesus. That was really, really good news. And Paul did the exact same thing you and I do when he had heard this good news. He told people. He told lots of people. Lots and lots of people. In fact, Paul became something that we call a missionary. Have you heard that word too? A missionary is just somebody who goes from one place to another to tell them about the good news of Jesus. So Paul was sent from one church out to a place where nobody knew about Jesus, and Paul told them. In fact, Paul told everybody. He told the Jews and what we call the Gentiles. And you might remember we talked about how sometimes the Jews didn't like the Gentiles. But who does Jesus love? He loves everybody. Is there anybody he doesn't want to know about him? No. He wants everybody to know. So in the book of Acts, we can read all about what Paul did. Just telling people that good news. And we can remember that we can do the same thing. Do you know how you can be a missionary? Maybe one day you'll go far away. You can tell everybody you know about Jesus. Because it's really, really good news.